Welcome to Roll Gay Roleplay, a mini-sode! I'm Chris the DM, and Happy New Year, everyone! Yeah, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, queers! Yes! Oh, wait, we have straight people that listen to this podcast, too. Queers and you other folk? Yes, and the token heterosexuals. Yes! Right. Happy New Year, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Fellow straights, because I, too, am a straight person. Yeah, that didn't fool anyone. You couldn't even finish that sentence without sounding gay as hell. Yeah. I, I, too, am a straight person. <laughs> Join the gay side. Hello, I am heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you know who all of us are by now because we're just not going to introduce ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to talk. <laughs> Since, yeah, we don't need to introduce ourselves, you know who we are, hopefully, and if not, then this is a fun introduction to us. Uh, we're doing a mini-episode on our break until we get back on January 19th? I'm looking at my calendar. That's close. 16th? No, that's, that's, a, that's a if. Yeah, in that range there. We're coming back soon. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do a mini-episode, and it was suggested that the library have some holiday hours, so we're going to give you a few minutes of us just reading the shit out of each other. Nice. But we have a disclaimer, and this time I actually have it, as opposed to Jonathan's improv disclaimer last time. Which was immaculate. Yes, it got the point across, at least. The library is about to open. All views expressed come from a place of love and are not to be taken seriously. The digs will be deep, the reads will be filthy, and the cast will be dragged. We do not make any warranty to the accuracy of this information. All participants understand that in the library, there are no rules and no offense will be taken. Listen at your own risk. <laughs> I won last time, so I get to choose the order. Yes. Oh, wow. Just want to say, bitch. <laughs> yeah, go uh, for it. I'm going to go last uh, because I don't have anything prepared because I have a really hard time sitting <sighs> down and writing mean things. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> sure it's not just your KDHD? Oh my god, how world peace of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just such a pure soul. So I'm just going to wait until afterwards, after I've been like riled up and offended and like, oh, <laughs> and we're nitpicking like that. <laughs> right. Well, fuck you. <laughs> so I'm going to go at the end so I can be inspired and or flop after everyone does a really good job. I love this. Okay. Who do you want to go first? Oh, I don't care. You guys can figure you, that no, out. I that's just don't want to go. Literally, that's, that's your job. Uh, okay, okay. Let's go Brandon, Tisha, Jonathan, Chris. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Try my notebook out. <laughs> yeah, get your notebook ready. Oh, man. I don't get ready. I stay ready. I can bring this into my Excuse therapist. me. Glasses are on. Mostly because I wear glasses, but also because library. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to start with our beloved Chris the DM. DM here meeting dated millennial. You are one Furby slap bracelet away from being put into a fucking home. <laughs> also, congrats on being invited to PAX as a social media influencer. Good to know you don't need a personality to be an internet personality. That's cool. Bitch. Tisha, since you are such a language and speech expert, I noticed something kind of funny. Tisha kind of sounds like Disha. As in, you're a disappointment to everyone around you. <laughs> also, Tisha, between your homemade coasters and your candles, you're a bit of a craft queen. Explains why all your jokes are cheesy and cheap. Maybe we should call you Easy Mac. Okay, these are, these are cute. As long as it's vegan. <laughs> Jonathan, funny story, actually got his start in teaching because he misunderstood the paperwork when he was applying to be a sub. Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> now I'm not usually I'm not usually one to get political, and I hate to agree with Reagan, but I really think he was onto something when he said that excellence does not begin in Washington. I hate you. <laughs> I'm in tears. So good. Um, Katie, our pillow queen of the north. What is there to say about someone who gets intimidated by their pet fish? 
<laughs> Someone who sacrificed their formal blazers so their rabbits could have something to snack on. Someone who can't pronounce the name of the character they play in Mario Kart. I'm so glad that you got your new headset and mic. They're wonderful. In fact, they're so nice that we can now hear that it wasn't the recording equipment that made you so unlistenable. (laughs) (laughs) It's the 80 billion fish tanks I have running. (laughs) (laughs) And of course, Mark. Amazing that both Chris and Mark are polyglots. Chris speaks multiple languages, including French, I think. Mm -hmm. And Mark speaks whale. What die do I roll oh, again? Bitch. <laughs> oh, bitch. Not even here to defend himself. <laughs> oh. Bring him in the room. I have some things to say. <laughs> oh, bitch. And I politely hand my glasses to Tisha. Oh, well done. I take them and I put my hair up in a bun. And That's good, because I have a feeling this thing's about to blow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Jonathan, mm-hmm. Christian girl Autumn, really? Yes. More like nerdy Nerdatron grown-ass bottom trying to reclaim his youth with infinity scars and glitter parties. You live, laugh, lame <laughs> Oh my god. It <laughs> was so long. I feel like that belongs on the wall of a punk house. I want that. I want that in my guest bathroom. <laughs> Live, laugh, lame Brandon, honestly, I would say something nice about you to kind of, you know, change it up a bit between us, mm-hmm. but your hair's so loud you wouldn't be able to hear it anyway. Uh, plus, I'm not even sure you can understand spoken English unless it's captioned or about you. It's just gibberish, right? <sighs> Chris, what to mm. say about our token basic white dude? Our generic extra from a Midwestern town. Are imagine if Vanilla Ice was a suburban soccer mom. I'll ask what everyone is dying to know. Does your Kindle physique not end at your waist, or are you just cold? <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's saying you ain't got no nipples. <laughs> They're small. You got his top surgery at Claire's. How dare you? <laughs> Katie. It's been really cool watching you bloom and flourish into this lovely, queer, Canadian flower that you are. You know, when I first met you, it was painfully obvious you were fresh off the boat from Straitsville. And even now, sometimes when hearing you communicate, I feel like I'm listening to a gay audio drama remake of The 40-Year-Old Virgin. But, I mean, I guess what I'm really trying to say, Katie, is I hope you get laid soon. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh. And I'll pass the classes to Jonathan. Jonathan puts them on daintily. I don't have enough hair for a bun, but I do have enough words to hurt your feelings. You can do pubic hair, too. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Tisha was nominated for an award for acting in another podcast. Looking at your track record with Benny and Edith, the other nominees are a shoe in <laughs> Just like the Dosiak Keith man, stay mediocre, my friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> what do Chris and Pandora Box have in common? They are both retired twinks struggling to find a personality. Oh. <sighs> Chris makes up all these characters for our podcast because at the ripe age of 40, he still hasn't found his own voice. So, Chris, I need you to act like our winter podcast special. Channel your inner Danica McKellen and focus on 2020 you. Since since I'm in a very anti-twink mode, I should attack the other one. Katie! Hi. (laughs) Lately, I've been noticing that you have been in on attack mode. And thank God you are finally giving us something because you aren't funny or the least bit clever or wise or interesting or remarkable. But look on the bright side. At least you're an asshole. And finally, Brandon. Hi. I'm here to check up on you, girl. Scientists say that when a gay dyes their hair, they are in a crisis and they're crying for help. And I just want you to... Oh, girl. <laughs> and I just want you to know, Brandon... And I just want to know, Brandon, are you two feeling overprocessed and hanging by a thread? This is a safe space, and I want you to know that you have our full support, no matter how much trauma you cause us with your hair color choices. 
How else do I protect my trauma? <laughs> By not using us as a shield or defense <laughs> mechanism. Funny. And those are my reads. I um, take them off the glasses themselves and I hand them to Christopher. Okay. I put on my reading glasses. We'll start with Katie. Excellent. Katie is such a naturalist that she uses dirt, maple syrup, and the sun to put on her black face. <laughs> We're back to that. Sorry, I'm just all black to that. <laughs> Jonathan. Disclaimer. Oh, please. <laughs> She's only done it once. No. <laughs> Oh, I said we do not warranty the accuracy of this information. I'm just coming for blood, not for facts. Drama channels in 2025. <laughs> Cannot find this. <laughs> oh, Jonathan, real quick. Which Jonathan are we getting today? Are we getting junk Jonathan, over it Jonathan, or just got fucked Jonathan? Oh. I just want to know how the rest of the day is going to go. I mean, bay has been gone for a while, so this is just going to be drunk Jonathan. Okay. Good. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, and honestly, I've loved being your friend all these years and seeing your growth from bathhouse to bed, bath, and beyond. You're a sepia tone Instagram filter away from becoming an Ugg boot. <laughs> Wait. Uh, Why are all y'all's best reads me? Oh, <laughs> uh, now a lot of people think that Jonathan is actually the tallest person on the podcast, but really it's Mark. Mark is 6'4. Well, he stands at 6'1". He would be 6'4 if his spine wasn't shaped like a candy cane. Uh, wait, oh. that just... <laughs> That's reading Mark. I know, I know. And Mark was going to join us for the library, but he couldn't get anyone to cover his shift ringing the bells at Notre Dame. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He's never going to hear this. Whew. Brandon says his boyfriend takes his breath away. That's because it's hard to breathe through a pillow. <laughs> no, Brandon does have a mostly flesh boyfriend now, which kind of ruined my library flow. Because, like, the first time in the library, I read from Brandon's dating profile. And then the second time in the library, I read the messages that Brandon sent me on dating apps. So this time, I just reached out to your boyfriend to find out some intel. <laughs> no! <laughs> Drag him. Here are the things that he wants me to say to you that he won't say to your face. Okay. Sexually, your special move is weird and no one likes it. <laughs> well, we ran out of ice cubes last time. <laughs> Change my litter box. And uh, I'm tired of fighting for attention with a polyester blend of anime teenager. <laughs> That's fair. All right, Tisha. Tisha is the biggest gamer of any of us. You can catch her playing games all the time on Discord. Uh, she's been a gamer her whole life, too. Tisha has played all the consoles and beaten up most of the systems. In fact, growing up, the only system she couldn't beat is the foster care system. Oh, oh shit. Bitch. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's funny because your childhood was broken. Uh, that is funny. It was. I have, I have one more, Tisha. I have one more. What's Tisha's oh. favorite horror movie? Orphan. Oh, okay. oh my god. <laughs> Going straight to hell. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, I remove my. I love you, Tisha. I uh, remove my reading glasses and give them to Brandon. Katie, sorry, Katie, to finish it off. Yes, they're both white twinks. It's fine. <laughs> you think I'm a twink? I'm almost thirty. Thank you. I didn't say twink in prime. Okay. <laughs> just call me Pandora. <laughs> Yes, I'd just like to thank Chris for pointing out things that people can't change, like the shape of their back or their childhood, <laughs> instead of fun things like your personality. Um, I have written most of this down, and I will be uh, hijacking my family's group therapy session to talk about all of these. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I would like to say, yeah, it seems like the overall theme is I just need to get laid, and it feels like that time when all my friends in high school just got me generic gift soap. So <laughs> Wait, drag us, bitch. <laughs> Thanks for all the help, I guess, but like. <laughs> yeah, but think of the place you could stick that soap. Right, it'll give me like a rash because it's <laughs> full of lead. Uh, and Jonathan, maybe I'm not all of those adjectives that you listed. I'm just young. She <laughs> 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 got you old. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, and Brandon, I can't believe that you agreed with Ronald Reagan as someone who is Jewish. Like, he's essentially the gay Hitler, like, as someone who is Jewish and queer. Like, that's just, how could you do that? I kind of blew the Hitler joke there. It's okay, it happens. You blew that's Hitler? It. I, <laughs> Hitler himself could not make me straight. <laughs> what? Why is that the 
really standard. bad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure. What, is yeah. Hitler the pinnacle of? I thought my blackface joke would be the worst thing we said, but I know. <laughs> Yikes, Digging Katie. myself into a hole. I told you it would flop. Okay, it either go really well or it would flop. <laughs> but okay, but just so happens that your read of me was actually funny. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck you. Please take off your blackface before you start talking about Hitler. <laughs> Blowing Hitler. Yes. Oh. I never said anything. <laughs> oh, I love the library so much, you guys. I'm so happy that these are all released to the public. <laughs> it was a messy one this time. Someone's going to have to pick up these books. Uh, has Has Katie finished? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, you didn't say Which anything? Which is also how she ends all of her sexual so, experiences. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm done. I think we should decide a winner, but also like let the listeners decide a winner. Who do we think did the best today? I am definitely for the listeners deciding this. I think that's a great idea. You tell us who won this library episode. I would be very happy to take my crown back. Okay. Just saying. Not live, laugh, lamo. Live, laugh, lamo. Like <laughs> was, was so pretty funny. up there. Like you were, like you were number one until Chris got you. Yeah, he got me good. <laughs> I did like Jonathan's the overprocessed one. That was that was really yes. good. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. You guys came hot this time. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chris finished strong with yeah. that yeah. Foster Care one. <laughs> <I think it's laughs> the jokes. That fucked me up the most. <laughs> that Foster Care one was probably the best joke of the night. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fantastic, y'all. I'm... Yes, and all love. Everyone's happy. We're all good. Yes. Family. Yay. Yes. Love. Okay. I told you. I'll hijack family therapy if I need to. Modern farmhouse. <laughs> Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for our library mini-sode. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. My face is still red from it, honestly. Uh, Let us know on Discord or on social media who you think won the library. We're very interested to find out. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you for the return of Cursed in a couple weeks. Bye, everyone! Wait, we can't wait. Sorry, not bye. I thought of a really good joke for myself. A really good burn for myself. Okay, Okay, yes. The only thing I choked on more than the jokes in that read was my own foot at the end. No. No. That's why no, we that wasn't, that wasn't good either. Bye. 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 I am so embarrassed. <laughs>